Hello Sagittarius, this is your You versus Them love reading. Let's see what the wisdom of the oracle has for you. You are between two worlds. All right, I'm going to pull another card out. And two, okay. Oh, we have three. We have time to go, time to take action, mending, and to be fair. So there's some judgment call that you're going to have to make about being fair to a situation, to yourself, or to something else. Okay, so the cards have been pre-shuffled. We're going to look at your energy first. Here we go. So Sagittarius. In the recent past, what is your energy in love towards your person? The recent past, Nine of Pentacles. Well, you're just ready to go. You're looking good, feeling fine, beautiful energy. Looks very Frida Kahlo. Um, beautiful. Really feeling abundant, happy. You have a beautiful bird. You are very attractive to the outside world right now, and you know it. All right, so the Seven of Cups says that right now you're not really sure what's going on in your connection with another person, but you're hopeful, you know, wishing upon a star, really wanting to choose or make the right choice, how you view the situation going forward. Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius, there you are in your own reading. I love it. So it really speaks to the fact that you think it's time to move forward. Look at this King of Wands energy. You're feeling fired up. You are feeling amplified. You're feeling sexy. You're feeling you're beating the drum for someone that you find attractive. How do you feel in your heart space for this person? Oh, the Fool card. A Fool for Love, my friends. A Fool for Love. All right. What? How do you view the situation going forward? Let's see. The Five of Cups, okay. So you feel disappointed in their responses to you. You feel as though right now you're not sure what they're doing. The Seven of Cups energy just says that the contact has not been consistent. Five of Cups says that you're feeling uh, a little bit a sense of abandonment. You're feeling a little bit underwater, so to speak. Like, okay, I was all fire here, and now I'm feeling like I don't know what's going on. What's hidden here in the energy for you? Oh, the Four of Wands. You have fire in your belly. You really see this person as being the one you'd like to build a life with. Look at that, the man, the bride and groom, or the, the couple dancing on top of this beautiful castle that they've created, the Four of Wands, 11-11. Twin flame energy, if that is something that... Um, you know, I really see that very powerful twin flame energy for you here. Let's see what the advice of spirit is, Sagittarius. Devil energy. Oh, interesting that that's the advice card. So, you know, you've heard the song Devil in the Blue Dress. I think that spirit is saying, tempt the other person. Go ahead, you know, go ahead and put your red dress on. Statistically speaking, there was once a study done by John Mallory in the 70s, and men said that a red dress was the sexiest energy that they could see in a feminine that the masculine loves the red dress. So here we go. We have Mars and Gemini right now, and I'm saying buy the red dress. <laughs> buy the red dress. If you're inclined to go shopping, buy the red dress with that Mars energy. And words will mean a lot this month. How? What is Spirit saying the outcome will be for the short term? What is the short-term outcome in this relationship for you? King of Pentacles, yay! King of Pentacles, a daddy card. That is Taurus energy. That is everything that you value. That second house, money, home, stability, everything that's beautiful in life. Sagittarius, interesting reading. All right, so let's see where your person's at with all of this. 
Let's see, Sagittarius's person. Oh, here we go. Look at this. In the recent past, they were very uh, dreamy, very Pisces energy. The Knight of Cups is Pisces. So, Sag, that would make you confused because when you mix water and fire, usually the fire gets extinguished. Water has a tendency to put it out. And here you are in the Seven of Cups energy going, well, I don't know what happened, but the fire seems to have disappeared. But I like the watery energy that I'm in, and I'm going to wish upon the star and let's see how your person is your person is having a difficult time your person is two of swords there's something that they don't want to hear there's something they don't want to see and we're going to clarify that energy right now actually what is it that your person why is the two of swords here for your person oh <laughs> Your person looks as though they don't want to be overwhelmed. They don't want to fall in love too easily. It's like they don't want to deal with their feelings. Interesting, because we have them not wanting to see the falling in love energy, even though they're very much in their feels. Your fe person's feeling overwhelmed. All right, so let's look and see what the uh, what your person feels. You're in the Wheel of Fortune energy. Your person is in this Leo energy. It's ego-driven, Five of Wands. Um, I feel very much that this is a new dating relationship. There has been there hasn't been an investment yet in the relationship. Um, what I'm getting here is it looks like Seven of Cups. You may be keeping your options open, and your person is feeling very bothered by that energy you're very much in this i'm single ready to mingle your person's very romantic you're not really having fully decided on the relationship seven of cups but you also don't know what they're doing they're feeling overwhelmed and they don't want to deal with this strong level of emotion they're having you know you're ready to say hey i will bring whatever life gives me and this person's going well wait a minute you know, I don't really like being in competition with all these people with the Seven of Cups energy. Let's see how your person feels and uh, how they view you. But you view them as somebody who's fiery, somebody who's capable of moving forward. Let's see how they're viewing themselves in this situation with you, in the relationship. How are they viewing things? They're holding on for dear life. This person is holding their heart close. They're afraid of falling in love with you. This person's very afraid of falling in love with you. You're feeling very adventurous. You're feeling as though you're a fool for love right now. How are they feeling in terms of their heart space with where they're at in their life, in their history at this time? Wheel of Fortune. So you have Wheel of Fortune. You're both feeling lucky to have met one another. Why do you view this as this person has abandoned you or left you alone? Uh, you feel as though you might have been a conquest for this person. You feel as though they're very ego-driven and that their energy is much more about, look at me, look at me. You know, you feel like they're too ego-driven, Sag. You know, Leo energy is nice. It's complementary energy, but it's not very effective for a relationship. Look at this energy here. Your person, Sagittarius, also wants uh, an abundant home life. Look at these cards. This is a man and a woman. They're obviously married. There's a dog for loyalty. There's children in the background. We have a working couple that's very successful. And here, look at, we have the Four of Wands. This is like the beginning, and this is the culmination. So your person is very much in this energy, Sag, that they want to have the Ten of Pentacles. Virgo energy, they're willing to do the work. The Four of Wands, you know, both, you have fire in your belly. Uh, to make this happen you definitely would like to create a home life with this person Sagittarius you are being told advised to be the devil with the red dress on so to speak be a temptation for your person and look at that they have empress energy now what's interesting here is empress energy is feminine energy so is the queen of cups 
So you may be dealing with somebody who wants to attract you. They're used to getting a lot of attention. That's what this card tells us. And you're not really giving them the kind of attention they're used to. You're much calmer. You're much more grounded here than they are. And so they're feeling a little bit unraveled. They don't like the fact. It makes them feel like, what the heck? Everybody chases me. And again, this card really says that your person kind of wants you to pursue them All right but look at this you have your back turned you're both in a stalemate look at that you're both very attractive people but look at you have your back to each other you're both but you're both trying you know you both want to turn and look at each other also you have your face to the camera saying, come, come see me, come see me. The King of Pentacles is the outcome card for you in this relationship. And look at this. We have the Ace of Swords coming into this with great clarity, wanting the Ten of Pentacles. I would say that at this time, that both of you are mending after a period of difficulty. And to be fair, I feel very much that this is just a new relationship or one that is coming together again after a period of distance. I don't think that there has been any horrific situation here. Here. Again, I feel as though, you know, circumstances in your life have brought you close and taken you apart maybe earlier and that, you know, you're coming from other relationships in which you're totally healed and they are in the process of healing. The clarity is, is that they want this as much as you do. King of Pentacles energy is exquisite energy. It's successful energy. Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, what you want, the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Fortune. This just is exquisite energy energy king of pentacles king of wands there's a lot of fire in your belly here there's a lot of romance there's a lot of emotion there's a lot of uh, chemistry sexual attraction and now some grounded stabilizing energy sagittarius off to the races with you how fun bye-bye